Hey there, my name is Kate Fakel and welcome to Craft Beer Fridays. Today I am so excited about the beer I am about to review because it is Star Wars. It is called Java the Stout from Jackie O's Pub and Brewery. They are located here in Athens, Ohio, and this runs at 6.5% alcohol by volume. <laughs> here is the bottle up close. I'm so excited because it has Jabba the Hutt on it and it has the Death Star and the Millennium Falcon and some TIE Fighters and X-Wings. And then they also have Cloud City with a little hop thing at the bottom. There's just so much detail. Let's get through this beer review and then I have other things to discuss. There's also construction going on right next to my house, so I apologize if there's any construction noises in the background. Oh my god, a near perfect pour. I'm actually pretty impressed with myself right now. This was actually canned on November 3rd of this year and I got it the day that it was canned. Once my roommate told me about it, I had to get it. It has a pungent chocolate and sweet malty smell. Pretty good, pretty good. Let's uh, go ahead and try it. Cheers. So it does have bitter in this beer for sure. You do get a nice chocolate brewy caramel coffee flavor. I definitely enjoy, you know, a good coffee chocolatey caramely beer. The French roast that is in this beer is actually Athens local, so that's pretty cool. On their website, I'll read a little bit about what's in this beer. Um, like I said, they do have the French roast and uh, roasted barley, caramel malts, and that's where, you know, you get the sweetness from. After the fermentation, they cool it on four pounds of ground coffee beans for one week. So that gives it the roasted flavor. And overall, it is, it is pretty smooth. I'm enjoying this Star Wars beer. I wonder how Disney feels about this. Jack Yos, what's happening? This beer is really cool. Rogue One will be coming out in December and I'm like half excited, half nervous, half whatever. I mean, of course, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I'm still gonna be excited. K2SO is probably gonna be one of my favorite characters. If you follow me on any social media, you saw that I made a website for my craft beer channel, which is so cool. I'm trying to expand my horizons and I made a blog. So that link will of course be in the description box below because I was actually featured in Backdrop Magazine and I wanted to put that online. And I also rode a train for the first time and they put me in their little magazine thing. So just head on over to my blog and check all those cool articles out and just look around and see what it's like. But going back to the Backdrop Magazine, if you flip to page 10, shablap, there I be. I'm actually in this same spot right now. Same table, obviously not same shirt not drinking pumpkin beers anymore. Hoo wee, I only get to drink one. <clears throat> but go on over to my blog if you wanna read more about my thoughts on it and what it actually says. And I'm just really excited that my craft beer channel got to be in print. Well, Trump is our president. You know, you know, you know. Social media has been unbearable lately. It's not that I care. Everyone can have their political opinion. You can like Hillary, you can like Trump, you can like a third party, you cannot like to vote. Either way, you're gonna lose and there's gonna be some sort of an argument no matter what side of the spectrum you're on. So Trump's our president and it's something that we have to accept and we will see what the future holds. Politics, <laughs> I'll drink to that. My roommate and I made a homebrew a couple of weeks ago Gosh, it feels like it's been forever. And I never got to review that yet. So I thought since I'm doing a dark beer already, I'll review ours. It was supposed to be a porter and I've already tried it, but I'll review it for you guys just to see if it tastes any different. Cause I kind of let it sit a little while longer, but I don't know. If you watched episode 21, you can watch that whole process and to see what kind of ingredients we put in it and just the space itself. And now it's time for me to review this beer. And now the construction people are singing. Great. All right, I've never reviewed my own beer before, so this is a first. Very bitter and stale. Oh! Huh, the kind of caramely-ish flavors you get from Better Than Sex Cake, but it's really sweet and kind of bitter in a way. That's what this beer reminds me of, but it doesn't really have a lot of flavors in it, and I'd probably only drink one. It kind of tastes salty almost. It's not horrible, but would I sell this to people? Probably not. But you know, we tried, it wasn't bubbling the way it should have. So if it would have actually done the fermentation process correctly, it probably would have been a little bit of a better beer. And it was our first try ever. So 
I might not be going into the brewing business, but I'll just stick with my reviews. Well, thank you for watching today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I post new videos every Friday. I hope all you Star Wars fans enjoyed this. If you like video games, I do have a video game episode, episode 10. Also, don't forget to go to the description box below to check out my new blog. May the force be with you. And remember, life is too short to drink bad beer.